So this is a 60-year-old woman that has a history of right-sided breast cancer. Uh, the cancer clinically is of the inflammatory type with edema and redness, and the patient uh, is also found to have an axillary lymph node at the time of uh, diagnosis. This case uh, of a patient presenting with what looks like a clinical uh, inflammatory breast cancer first needs to be approached with uh, diagnostic confirmation. So uh, typically we would do an image-guided biopsy, core biopsy of the mass, and in this case, uh, given the imaging showing axillary adenopathy, probably a fine needle aspiration of the lymph node as well. The key issue here, of course, uh, confirming that this is carcinoma as suspected, and also obtaining biomarker information, hormone receptor status and HER2 status. Yes, yeah, so the initial uh, diagnostic studies with the core biopsy does confirm a high-grade carcinoma. The tumor's estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor negative, and HER2 positive. So on that basis, uh, given the fact that this patient has inflammatory breast cancer, the treatment generally would be neoadjuvant or preoperative therapy. And as a HER2 positive breast cancer, uh, our best treatment is going to be with combination antibody therapy with trastuzumab and pertuzumab. Uh, this combination was actually approved in the neoadjuvant setting initially uh, and more recently in the adjuvant setting. Of course, it had been approved in the metastatic setting for quite some time. One of the more common regimens we use is the combination of docetaxel, carboplatin, along with trastuzumab and pertuzumab. And uh, this is a, a perfectly reasonable option uh, that the patient receives. Uh, other options would include anthracycline-based uh, therapy, so doxorubicin and cyclophosphamide typically followed by a taxane with trastuzumab and pertuzumab. Inflammatory breast cancer itself is not that common. It probably represents 2 or 3 percent of all cancers. Uh, however, node positive breast cancer certainly is a common presentation. About a third of cases uh, do present with positive nodes in certain populations, uh, younger populations, uh, maybe in urban populations that number is even higher. Of all the cancers, about one-fifth of them are HER2 positive. Uh, so inflammatory HER2 positive all of those features may be not that common, but certainly the treatment paradigms that we use to treat these types of cancers can be applied here. Uh, so um, the key issue really in treating patients is the type of subtype of breast cancer based on hormone receptors and HER2 positivity, as well as the, the clinical and pathologic stage.